Hey there, Scorpio. Welcome to your reading for uh, the April 8th uh, new moon solar eclipse in Aries. We're going to jump right in here. Uh, you have this card that says co-create on it and this card that says all that glitters on it. So I would make sure that you're seeing the truth in of the of the matter at this time. There, I mean, we're in a time of truth and you know, I think that we're going to see a lot of truths being exposed anyway. So, you know, you might be seeing the truth of a situation in your life or how, you know, something is going to go or, you know, whatever the case may be here. And, you know, but I would make sure that you're like not ignoring it uh, with that card. Not that you would, but, you know, I'm just saying, make sure that you don't, right? Uh, I also feel that it's an amazing time for co-creation. So anything you can do uh, to work together with other people is, I mean, are you kidding me? Look at that. <laughs> that looks amazing, Scorpio. Uh, anything you do to work together with other people is going to lead to a lot of success. And again, we are in a time of co-creation. So anything, you know, anything that you can do. Um, you know, in, in co-creation, by the way, I like to remind people that it doesn't even mean that you have to like work together with a person, a person. Co-creation could say that you are, uh, you know, p putting something out into the world. Like if you're creative or, um, you know, if you do YouTube videos or whatever, it's like when you put something out into the world, you are co-creating, you are, um, you know, putting energy out and uh, for people to take advantage of or to use in some way. And that is a form of co-creation. You have the five of cups here. The Five of Cups can represent regrets or sadness, but the Five of Cups says you need to turn around and be excited for what you do have because that's how you get this bridge and this castle over here. So the Five of Cups can represent um, needing to uh, be grateful for what you do have. I always say that to me, the fives have the easiest solutions in the tarot. So the Five of Cups can say that you're grieving the loss of something that you no longer enjoy. You know, he's crying over these spilt cups, but he doesn't even enjoy it any longer. You know, the story of the Five of Cups is that he lost his taste for wine and he doesn't enjoy it anymore. So it's, but it's like, it's something that once brought him joy. So, you know, I feel that for a lot of you, this is about releasing something that you know you need to let go of. And it could be anything. The Nine of Pentacles is a card of newness as well. Nines on a very simple level can just represent something new entering into your life or discovering something new. And so this is your crossing energy and the crossing energy uh, can be what hurts you or helps you in a Celtic cross. But I kind of feel like there is something new that you could be working on that will be that will kind of be bringing in a lot of success but i feel like it needs more focus uh this right here is a falcon and she is training her focus and so she needs to coming up as a crossing energy kind of says that you need to focus more on what you're doing i almost feel maybe that's also the wrong word um you know i kind of get this feeling of like efficiency i'm pretty sure i've said this to you before maybe even in your april monthly reading um you know i get something here about needing to make sure you're doing things that are actually working. <laughs> and so like if you're starting a business, a side hustle, or even a relationship or whatever, make sure you're focusing on the right things. This is also a card of gratitude and luxuries. So make sure that you are being grateful for what you have. Uh, next, you have the four wands. Uh, the four wands of course, is coming up in the area of your thoughts. The four wands can be marriage, of course. You could be thinking about a person or um, you could be thinking about moving, or like rushing towards a person here. It's weird. You've you got the knight of swords and the knight of wands coming out together. We'll talk about it in a minute. But you could be thinking about um, you know, a, a specific person here. Uh, and you know, it could be a new person. And I feel like you're wondering, it's like you're thinking to yourself, is this just like lust or am I moving too quick, quickly? Cause you have the Knight of Swords and the Knight of Wands, but then you go to the 10 of Pentacles. So again, if you have your eye on a person, this definitely could be someone that you will marry in the future. The Four of Wands is also a card of commitment. And I feel that for a lot of you, for you to have freedom in the future, I feel like you need to make 110% commitment uh, to whatever it is that you're working on. So for those of you that are working on projects, businesses, side hustles, uh, careers, like whatever it is you do, even if you're retired, I don't care if you knit all day, like whatever you're doing, I feel like you need to commit 110% with this four wands. That's gonna lead to uh, more freedom. Now you have the two of pentacles in the area of your foundation. This is like work hard, play hard. And I, but I kind of get something about time here and I feel like you need to balance your time. And, and I'm having major deja vu as I say that. I kind of feel like I said this to you in your last reading. Something about time. I was getting something about time or like how you use your time or how much time you have during the day. And I kind of feel like this is saying your time, it's like, you know, there are things you could do to, um, to improve your time. 
is, is kind of what I get here with the Two of Pentacles, or there are things that you could do that would be a better use of your time. I'm not sure how to say that. You know, that's kind of what I'm getting here for you, Scorpio. It's like there are things that you could do that would be a better use of your time. So make sure that you're keeping an eye on your time. I feel like, and by the way, like, you know, being more efficient with your time, I think it'll increase your finances, make you more money. I mean, the list goes on and on here. Uh, you have the chariot. The chariot, of course, is a victory or success. So I do feel like there is a victory coming in for you with the chariot or could be a bigger victory coming in for you. It is coming up in your past, which is interesting, but I kind of see you like moving or moving away from something. Maybe not literally, but for some of you, for some of you, I definitely feel you're moving. But the chariot, he's leaving behind the city behind him behind and he really doesn't know where he's going. The The story of the chariot is that he is in perfect alignment. He has stars up here, moons right here. It represents as above, so below. So he, he is energetically aligned with what he wants. He And he is trusting the universe is guiding him in a new direction. So I kind of get like a little bit of hesitation here where it's like you could be hesitating if you are thinking like, oh, I need to move or uh, you know, I need to make a change or go get a new job. But I almost feel like for, I kind of get a weird message here. It's almost like saying to me, um, that you should not be hesitating, <laughs> that you should just make them make a move that you think that you should be making because you're right is what this is saying. It's like, it's it's almost like saying that you are, there's nothing to not trust because you are in alignment. You know, I hope, I hope that makes sense. Uh, you have this koi fish spirit says there is always enough. You have this buffalo spirit says the abundant universe will provide. So if you're thinking about doing something in your life and you're worried about it, I feel like there's more than enough abundance that will be coming in for you or that you'll be creating enough, more than enough abundance. I feel like you'll also be creating uh, more than enough success in your life with the, with these energies um, You know, if you move start moving in the right direction. So I kind of feel like this is saying that there's like a lot of success that's coming in for you uh, with these energies. I also feel like there's like a lot of growth coming in for you. I feel like you've been through like a difficult period of time as well, you know, kind of like a rocky period. And now you're getting to this place of kind of cleansed energy, which I kind of feel is also going to be um, increasing your abundance or it's just like, it's more like you're entering into a better environment. I'm not so sure that this, just if I put myself in your shoes, like I don't know if your abundance is actually increasing like around you, but it feels more like your environment. Sometimes I think obviously if you're just in like a healthier environment or a better environment, meaning the people you surround yourself with, the energies that you surround yourself with, everything, um, you know, when, sometimes when that is more abundant or cleansed, then you become more abundant. And I, it kind of looks like that to me. I hope that makes sense. Uh, next in the area of your very near future, you have the Knight of Swords and the Knight of Wands. I feel like you're trying to make a decision. It's like you're wondering if you're rushing or not, you know, with this energy. It's like you're thinking to yourself, am I being too hasty or am I, you know, am I coming from the right place? I almost feel this is just you. I, I don't really feel like this is an energy of a person necessarily. You could be thinking about a person with this energy, but I also feel that this is more kind of like you saying to yourself, like, you know, am I maybe because you've rushed into things in the past or you've made hasty decisions in the past. And I really see you kind of like crunching the numbers here, trying to figure out if you're making the right choice, um, which is kind of interesting. I don't know where that's going. We're gonna, have to, we're gonna clarify in a minute. You have this waking lion card and the shining through card. So it's like something is standing out to you the Waking the Lion card is kind of like you, um, you know, unleashing the beast. I think I titled your last reading Unleash the Beast or something like that here, Scorpio. But, you know, I feel like you're kind of like unleashing your true power. People are going to start to see who, what, like what you're made of, who you truly are. And you're going to be showing that to the world with that wake, Waking the Lion card. I also feel like there are more things are starting to stand out to you with this Shining Through card. It's like you have more information now. It's like, you know, the older we get, the smarter we get, hopefully. <laughs> and not some of us not, but um, some of us go the other direction. But what I would say here is that I think that you're starting to see like what is good and what is bad in life. And that's what this shining through card is saying. You're starting to see like the things that are correct and good in life are starting to shine brighter, which is helping you make better uh, choices and decisions. And in the area of your next few months, you have the Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles is everything you want and desire in your life. It is the tree of life. It is you getting everything you want and desire in your life. So it's an amazing card. And I feel for a lot of you that you could really be building and leaving a legacy. I even feel some of you, I don't really see a person here, although I do feel like some of you have a person on your mind. I feel this person comes from is like comes from a very different world than you, Scorpio. It's like, you know, one person in this connection is a cheetah. The other one is an owl. You know, it's like, I, I literally see this in my head. So for those of you that want love, 
I feel you could be attracting a person where it's like, yeah, there are some big differences here, but I don't know. Like I kind of also feel that you fill in each other's gaps. It's like, you know, where they're weak, you're strong. Where, they're, you, where you're weak, they're strong. It's like, it's almost like this is, you know, even though you could be attracting someone that is like very different than your usual type or you are very different, I kind of feel like you complement each other uh, extremely well. So there definitely could be a person like that coming in for you. Uh, I feel that with the Ten of Pentacles here, definitely could be a person that you have a, start to have a family with as well, and, or that you will have a family with. If you're moving, by the way, I feel that you will be meeting this person through a move. Um, you know, if you're moving or, you know, if you're changing jobs or something, I'm pretty sure I said this to you recently as well. Uh, so that's interesting. Uh, I also feel that you're just creating more success in life in general, even if you don't want love. And so I feel you're about to enter into a very successful time. You have the Queen of Wands in the area of your closest relationships. So I feel you're very attractive at this time as well. If you are looking for love, I would definitely put yourself out there with the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands is very bold and assertive, and she's also the card of seduction. It doesn't matter what gender you are. You know, again, I would just put yourself out there with the Queen of Wands. It's also just very good for relationships in general. So all relationships, you know, you could really be in this uh, position of power. Uh, next, in the area of your future feelings, you have the two wands, getting ready to take the leap of faith. <laughs> I, I just, I kind of just feel like you are getting ready to take some sort of leap here. He has the whole world in his hands on the two wands, but he has to like take a leap of faith and get out into the world. And that's what I feel like the two wands is saying. Like, it's time for you to take that leap of faith. It's time for you to like step out into the world and kind of like make something happen here. And that's what I see with this uh, two wands. Uh, at the end, for your outcome, you have the Four Swords. We have a Mercury Retrograde starting on April 1st, literally April Fool's Day. And also on April 8th, you know, we have the Eclipse, which this reading is about the Eclipse. But, you know, at the same time of the Eclipse, we have the Retrograde going on. And so I would say, like, take as much time as you can or need to uh, for resting, relaxing, recovering. Retrogrades are always great for healing, um, you know, uh, resting, relaxing, recovering, you know, all that other stuff. So I think it would be an amazing time for you to do that with the Four of Swords. Uh, you have the Hierophant in the Six of Swords. The Hierophant is a card that could represent marriage or blessings coming in for you. Six of Swords is about moving on to calmer shores. I kind of feel like you're in the home stretch is what I feel like saying, Scorpio. I feel like you've had, like, experienced a lot of loss. Um, you know, like I said, I feel like it's been rocky with that Buffalo Spirit. I was kind of getting that you've been through a rocky period of time, a lot of on-off energy as well, maybe even to the point where you've been working, you've maybe over the past, like past couple of years, you've been working on projects. It's like they get turned on and off is how I see it in my head. You start working on something, it, then you stop. Then you start working on something, and then you stop. I feel that the Six of Swords is saying you're kind of like in the home stretch of that stopping <laughs> and you're finally able to like work on things and continue to work on things in your life, whether it's your health, a business, your career, relationship, whatever. It's like you're finally just on and I feel this is going to feel really good. And this eclipse, I actually feel could be the thing that is turning this on. You know, it could be the thing that is allowing you to continuously work on something. I feel like the Hierophant could be talking about marriage or blessings coming in for you as well. So let's clarify through here and let's see where this is going. Uh, with the Five of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles, you have the Eight of Swords. Uh, Eight of Swords is self-imposed restriction, needing to set yourself free. I do feel like there are things, like I feel like there are restrictions in your life here, Scorpio. Like I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. <laughs> um, you know, I don't know. I like The best way I could put this is it's almost like there are things you want to do, but you have children, right? Maybe you do, maybe you don't. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just giving you an example here. It's like maybe you want to date, but with children it's hard. Maybe you want to, you know, start a business, but with your children it's hard. Maybe, but it might not be children. It's like, you know, Maybe you want to start a business, but you don't have the money. Or maybe you want to start a business, but your child is is your current job that takes up too much of your time. So I feel like the Eight of Swords is saying, yes, there are restrictions that you are having to deal with at this time. Uh, so let's see how we can kind of move past this. With the Four of Wands, you have the Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups is like wishes and wish fulfillment. So really good. Also, the whole entire reading really tells me that you are you are in proper alignment. You know, the Chariot is a victory. The Nine of Cups is also kind of like getting something that you wish for. So I kind of do feel that there's a little bit of wish granted energy, but it's because you are in alignment with the things that you desire, which obviously is a good thing. With the Two of Pentacles, you have the Six of Cups. Again, I feel like you have to release something from the past for sure. <laughs> uh, it could be a person, could be a situation, whatever. Uh, especially with that Five of Cups. Uh, the Six of Cups could also be children. The Six of Cups is also a turnaround. Uh, to me, the Six of Cups is kind of like a gift 
from the universe. And usually the gift we receive from the Six of Cups is obstacles being removed from our lives. So there definitely could be some sort of obstacle being re removed from your life here. Uh, with the chariot, you have the Ten of Wands. Uh, Ten of Wands is about carrying a heavy burden. Again, kind of like can, it, this is more just proof to me that you've been on this rocky road. You know, the story of the Ten of Wands is that he is burdened, but he's about to reach his home in the background here. And what he is carrying is his harvest. So, you know, again, really, it's a good card. Uh, personally, I think I personally read the Ten of Wands as a good card. To me, it is like saying that you are getting rewards for the things that you are doing or that you have done. And, you know, again, I feel like this is obviously going to be a good thing with the Ten of Wands, not a bad thing. So love it. Uh, with the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Swords, you have the Ten of Swords. I do feel like you are releasing a person or, you know, a situation here. Ten of Swords is like having been stabbed in the back, but I also kind of feel like this is just a death, you know? Um, not literally, but, you know, more a transformation. Ten of Swords really represents a blessing in disguise. He's making the symbol right here. It's the same symbol the Hierophant is making, and it kind of represents a blessing or a blessing in disguise. So I do feel like some of you are kind of releasing your past. And again, I do feel the release is the thing that is going to bring you the Ten of Pentacles. So, you know, if you're releasing a person or a situation or an event that happened to you, that is going to be the thing uh, that causes Ten of Pentacles. Uh, the other thing that's going to cause the Ten of Pentacles is Two of Wands. So you have the Two of Wands twice, and Two of Wands is about leaving a comfort zone. He has his village down here. Again, he has a whole world in the, his hands. You know, the story of the Ten of Wands, or Two of Wands, is that he rushed to a finish line, and he thinks he knows how things are going to turn out. Like, he just rushed to a finish line, he made something in his life happen too quickly, and now he thinks he knows that's how everything is going to turn out. But really, he's only looking at things from a limited perspective. If he were, he has a whole world in his hands. So if he were to step out into the world, he would see that there's so many different ways and so many different things or so many different experiences that he could have. And, and Ten of Pentacles is the richness of life. It is the, you know, it is the tree of life. It is the abundance of life. Every possibility exists here. And so I feel like for a lot of you, this is saying that you need to go have some new experiences or you're about to go have some new experiences. And that includes, again, some of you, like I said, could be dating a person who's very different than you, but that could be the thing that um, kind of like opens you up to the richness of life. Uh, with the Queen of Wands there, you have the High Priestess. I feel like you need a very intuitive time for you. So I definitely feel you need to trust your intuition and tap into your intuition. She also has no roof over her head here and it kind of represents potential. Uh, truly, yeah, like, sure, the high priestess is mysteries. Uh, she can represent secrets, hidden information, trusting your intuition. But really, the high priestess is a card of potential. She represents unlimited potential. So it's like there are no limits to what you can accomplish at this time. The only limit is you. Uh, with the two of wands, you have the three of cups. Yes, there is a cel will be a celebration. Um, um, there, is, there isn't is. There will be a celebration if you leave a comfort zone, if you do something uh, that you've never done before. I also feel like if you become more efficient, like I said, I would really be, if, for those of you working on projects and stuff, I would really be paying attention to like what's working, what's not working, and you know, double down on the good stuff. Uh, with the Four of Swords, you have the Page of Wands. Page of Wands is about going on an event, like a new adventure. So I feel for a lot of you that you could be going on some sort of adventure here with the Page of Wands. And I feel like this adventure is going to be leading to a lot more success. I really see you kind of like leaving your area as well. Like I'm not saying that you have to be moving, right? Um, here, Scorpio, but I do feel if you are moving <laughs> that, that that could be very successful for you. Um, but you could also just be kind of, um, you know, expanding your, broadening your, hori your horizons, let's put it that way. Uh, you have this harmony card. So I feel like you want more peace and harmony in your life. I actually feel like you feel there's there is more peace and harmony entering into your life here. So that looks good. You have this eccentricity card. I'm telling you right now, I, I really feel that you are attracting someone very different. <laughs> it could be someone who is very eccentric, uh, who lives life a different way or something like that. So that's standing out to me. I also feel like you need to embrace the things that make you unique and eccentric. And I think that will also, you know, it's like you need to shine your inner light here. You have the submission card, and this card is like the Eight of Swords. There's this bird here, and it's trapped in this cage, but that cage door is open. It basically says that you could be keeping yourself stuck in something that you don't need to keep yourself stuck in. So, you know, again, I would definitely remove yourself from anything that you're feeling stuck in here with that uh, submission card. 
Uh, you have this enterprise card. Yes, I feel it's an amazing time for money for you and earnings and business. So if you have a business or career, whatever you're working on, uh, I feel that there is a lot of success for you in those areas of life right now. And so anything you can do to be enterprising would be a good idea. So like anything you do to like grow your business, to improve it, to expand it, you know, that's what I'm talking about here with the enterprise card. So I, I you know, I would work on all of that basically. Uh, and finally, you have this convention card. Yep, uh, it, it, every single time. You know, this is like the one thing that's gonna keep you fixed sign stuck. <laughs> it, not, not calling you out, but totally am. Convention is the way things have always been done. So whatever you're working on, or even in love, you know, or business, or your career, or your health, it, convention is the way things have always been done. So you have to break free from convention with this card. And this is a card that basically says there are many ways to do everything that you want to do in life, but if you're only seeing one way, then you're stuck. So I would be flexible at this time, but uh, this is a really good reading. I like where this is going. I think that there's like abundance and success coming in for you here. So thank you for being here and definitely enjoy your month.